Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping in. Tonight I am making our dinner for Sunday night, and my goal on Sunday is to make something that will last at least two nights, maybe two nights in the lunch or something. And I am doing a nostalgic recipe, one my mom used to make back in the 80s and 90s, and um, it was from my aunt, my dad's sister, and she made it once and brought mom the recipe and it's a great recipe for potlucks too i've taken it to church but i just sort of felt like it and it's lasagna roll-ups but inside the lasagna is smoked sausage that you cut into chunks the width of the noodles and it's stuffed with slices of mozzarella cheese and then of course there is you know marinara sauce so we're gonna make lasagna roll-ups. I have the noodles cooking and I'll have to cook some more. I am going to do this in a 9 by 13 pan. And I have some toothpicks out. I have mozzarella cheese that I have sliced up. I have my home canned marinara. You can use any sauce you like. And then I have smoked sausage. And use whatever is your favorite brand. You do want pre-cooked sausage. Is what it, it, it was smoked sausage is what Aunt Dorothy always used. So, so we are going to cut these like the width of a noodle. So one, two, oh, here. One. And then you want to try to get where is the best. You want to slice these partially down, not all the way, and then put in a slice of cheese. I'm going to check these noodles and so I get the next batch going. Still a little firm. You don't want them too soft though, you know, because they're going to cook more in the oven. So I'm going to slice all these. and stuff them with cheese. Timer, I have bread rising. It's been a busy Sunday after church. And the bread looks good. So So the noodles are limp, but they're still al dente, al dente. They're still firm in the middle. <laughs> I'm going to open up this what I do with my can opener. Oh, here it is. I'm going to open up a jar of marinara using four jar lids. If you do can your own foods, I do have a discount for four jar lids. We're going to put some of the sauce in the bottom here. This sauce does have mushrooms in it. And it smells so good. I have a video for making this sauce too.
Okay, so there is a nice, I put almost that whole pint. Okay, so let's roll up the rest of these. I have the last of the noodles in cooking. This noodle split some, not a big deal. If you didn't want the noodles double wrapped, you could cut them. Let me check. Let's check the noodles, see if we have the last three. Okay, let's wrap up these last three. Slippery. Seem to have gotten slipperier. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just my hands. And last one. Now what I like about this recipe is if you're making it for a potluck or a big gathering, you can make as many of these as you want. I almost just made a little square dish and would have had like six, but I'm gonna have some extras on here. I'm gonna put what was left of the other jar of marinara, not much. Open up the second one. So we, you would want like a quart jar of sauce, store-bought sauce. Stir this up some. Pour the sauce over. Take some Parmesan. I'm not going to add any more cheese on top. I will at the end. I'm just going to wrap it, not wrap it, cover it in foil. And I'll put the oven on 350 and let this cook until the noodles are tender. And I'll bring you back. Here it is out of the oven. I did add the cheese on top and I took the foil off for the last like 10 minutes. So I will plate one up. I took the toothpicks out. Remember to take the toothpicks out, especially if you have children. Here it is. I tried to slice into it. Should have let it rest more. <laughs> There's bread I made for the week and to go with dinner. Okay, so here's some with cheese, sauce, noodles, and sausage. Mm, it is really good. A loaf of bread. Cheese is still in the middle some and some has come out into the sauce. And the noodles aren't mushy. And I love the sauce. This is my first time using my sauce I made from frozen tomatoes. Um, there is a video for that. 
I will link it in the comments and at the end, but just a different recipe, different than regular lasagna. And other than preparing the noodles, it goes together really quickly. Thank you for stopping in and we'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.